Well, hello, hello, hello. Whew, happy Wednesday, y'all. Yep, I thought I'd get on here and chit-chat with you guys for a minute. Yes. Got up and beat that face. Look at that highlight. Yeah. So I'm just sitting here right now waiting on my laundry to get done. Tomorrow got the rip. Yep, so what are you guys doing? Are you still on your stay-at-home order? Or are you just staying at home because you didn't got so, so used to staying at home? And uh, you don't want to get caught up in the rigmarole that's going on out there in the streets. But yeah, I've been just staying at home. Um... Lord blessed me to have some company for a week. I was so excited. Yes, I really enjoyed myself and they enjoyed themselves. Friends of 40 years. Yes. Mm hmm Yep, the Lord allowed them to come down and uh, hang out. Yep, so now it's back to the norm. So, what are you doing on your Wednesday? Are you at work? Okay, y'all. So, hey, I thought I'd get on here and chit chat. Um, I am now starting my, um, I will say, my body discipline. I'm trying to discipline my body. Yeah, because, uh, you know, when you at home and you really don't have nothing to do. You get to cooking. Well, at least that's what I did. I got to cooking. Okay. And I started uh, making a lot of um, comfort food dishes. Yep. And so I put on some weight. I put on some weight. I had these, um, I call them 70 pans. Because they multiple colors. And when I purchased those, they was kind of big on me. Now they are fitting. Yeah. They are really, really fitting. And I am very disappointed of myself. Because of all the junk that I've been eating. I mean, we went... Um, Doing a stay-at-home order, we went shopping and uh, junk. I mean, I bought food now. I got my Lady Beater t-shirt on. I bought food, but I bought junk too. Potato chips and dip and uh, candy and cakes and popcorn and all kind of granola bars and stuff like that and um it didn't caught up with me y'all it didn't caught up with me even my shoes oh my god my shoes my shoes don't even want to fit i normally wear a uh eight and a half to a nine y'all i don't went from nine and a half to a ten I ain't be wearing no ten girl but I did purchase uh, four pairs of shoes that's a size 10, and uh, they are too big. I'm going to have to, uh, I can't keep those. I hope you're not getting the feedback from this TV. So i um, sitting up here watching uh, Dr. Phil. Yeah, some girls accusing her boyfriend uh, molesting a child which they know that he didn't do it because the boy been examined and uh, I don't know she just got issues but anyway um, yes I am starting my uh, downsizing to the good child downsizing I had taken some uh, colon cleanser which I, I have taken that before, 
and it really irritated my gut lining. I mean, my whole intestinal system was irritated. And y'all, I got sick. I did, I got sick. The sickness only left, lasted about a day and a half, uh, but uh, I was really irritated. Um, I was weak. Uh, I started coughing and um, I turned a shade darker, I believe. But anyway, um, what I did, I knew what was going on with me. So um, I just uh, began to drink a lot of water. And when I ate something, I ate uh, mashed potatoes because I didn't want to irritate the stomach lining no more. Well, it wasn't in my stomach, it was in my intestines. And so, um, then the next morning, I got up and fixed me a small bowl of oatmeal just to see uh, was it still irritated, but it wasn't. So it started going down. You know, I started feeling better, but from Thursday on into the weekend, I was feeling weak, and I knew I had to get me some rest. So I rested out, got me some rest, and uh, thank the Lord my body got back together. So now we're not gonna mess with that no more because it's a good, it's a very good colon cleanser. It's all natural, um, but it do say on the package that it 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 causes cramps. But it cramped me all the way out, and I only took a little bit this time, very little. Before I took a whole scoop, and it it worked you like a quarter horse chai, or an old picked up mule. It worked you. Okay, so um, anyway, uh, I don't know how much I weigh right now. I have to make me a doctor's appointment, and that will be today. Yeah, that will be today. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not trying to get on no type of uh, weight loss regimens or anything. I'm just now watching what I eat, okay, instead of fixing all them big old meals, like I was fixing like corned beef, cabbage, macaroni and cheese, yams, cornbread, you know, pinto beans with rice and put onions and bell pepper in it, cornbread and fried chicken, stuff like that, you know, I was cooking like that. Spaghetti with garlic bread, you know. Yeah, lasagna. Oh, y'all, I went, I don't know. I had made this macaroni and cheese. That macaroni and cheese was so freaking good. I ended up making some more two days later. And this time, I made a roast pan full. I wasn't intending on making that much, but I made a roast pan full, and this time I put shrimp in it. It was so good. Oh, I made a roux first, and I turned the roux into a cheese sauce. And honey, I put an egg in there, and put some more cheese and some more cheese and baked it. Oh, it was so moist and oh. I had enough uh, macaroni and cheese that I froze it, and it came back right too. What I did to re to revitalize it, I um, I pour milk into the pan and um, add a little bit more cheese and stuck it in the oven, and it came back just like it was freshly made. Yeah, put a little butter in it too. But yeah, I, I I went I went crazy with the macaroni and cheese, y'all. So I think uh yeah, that's what I made up, macaroni and cheese. Oh, and uh Costco's croissants. We was tearing up some croissants again. So um just wanna tone it down. Um this morning I fixed me a bowl of cereal. Fix the bowl of cereal. I put, uh, I like to put mixed nuts, oh, excuse me, 
I like to put mixed nuts and uh, strawberries. I tried my hand with that because I ain't supposed to be eating no strawberries and nuts mixed together. So we're going to see. I ain't had no reactions yet. Thank the Lord. So, um, yeah, and I just ate that about 10 o'clock. My goal is to not eat nothing else until 4. Okay? I'm just going to drink water, no snacks in between, because I had a nice-sized bowl, so I should be good until at least about 4 o'clock. So, um, hopefully, if everything goes okay, uh, dinner uh, is going to be baked chicken and broccoli. Okay? And I don't think I'm going to have any type of breads or starches to go with that. Um, I do have some rice um, that's already prepared. Um, my son liked that uh, rice aroni. I might make him some rice aroni, but only one box. Okay. Then that way you can't go back in for seconds. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut down and um, start getting some of this weight off. Yeah, so I just want to come on and share with you what I'm going through and what I'm getting, what I'm trying to do. Yep, what I'm going through and what I did and oh, I made a big mess of everything. And then you know what, when you um, when you find yourself in a place where you don't have all that tension on you, I try not to let the COVID bother me. I try not to let um, other things that was going on in my life bother me. I just try to like, you know, just hoosa, just, just exhale. You know, because I'm at the age now where I don't need no stress on it. I not even a little bit. Okay. And I'm already dealing with my sinus. So I don't need no stress. Okay. I want to live the rest of my life out stress free. Okay. Yes, yeah, stress free. I am 60 years old, soon to be 61, and honey, I thank God that I made it this far, because a lot of my friends are gone, okay, they gone on due to sickness, uh, heartbreak, believe it or not, heartbreak, yes, they were so heartbroken, they just, they, they heart just gave out, so, um, yeah, so I'm I'm reaching, I'm pushing towards, I want to live to, I get to at least about 85. I want to be 85. Yep. And then Lord can call me home. Yep, I want to live till I get 85. Yep. Because I think I have some something to say to the young people. Yeah, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Um, get you plenty of rest. That's what my grandmama used to tell me. And I ain't see my grandmama do no exercise. She did a lot of walking, though. Maybe that was her way of exercising. Um, she lived till she was 101. She was approaching 102. So, hey, she always told me, make sure you get plenty of rest. Don't be out there walking around when it's cold outside, half naked, put some clothes on. You know, ladies, um, in the summertime, you know, dress respectfully. You know, have some dignity about yourself. Have some class about yourself, okay? Make sure you can't nobody see through your clothing, okay? Please, by all means, please. Especially with them leggings. Make sure your leggings is thick enough, okay? And, uh... Put some panties on. Yeah. And if you just don't wear them, make sure your shirt come down past your bottom. Because that is, oh my God, that is so disgusting. 
Okay, what is our world coming to? So, yep, so I'm going to cut this video off because I don't want to be long and draw it out. Take care of yourself. Above all, take care of your kids. Feed your babies. <laughs> don't get them stuck on no cereal. We as adults can eat that stuff, but kids need uh, more solid food because they they play hard, okay? So uh, we're going to go. You have you a blessed day. Enjoy your day. And know that know this, that God sees all, okay? And we got to give an account of what we do in this body. So you have a blessed day. Talk to you later.